So crowding out just uh, slowed down the amount of investments that would happen because we got a higher real interest rate in both cases, depending on how we looked at those dollars. How do you deal with this? How do you know which one to do on the test? Well, most of the time on the test, they'll say, in this situation, how does the demand for loanable funds change? And then you go, oh, well, they got to demand more funds to cover up and uh, compensate for that deficit. Uh, or if they say supply is going to change, oh, there's less savings that could be done uh, because the government is spend, spend, spending. Um, so you pay attention to the question is how you figure that out on the test. Uh, now, imagine, though, if instead of running a deficit, the opposite would be the government doesn't spend all the money that it has, and it actually has some extra. That's what we call a... surplus. And I'm not going to uh, go through and switch all these around, uh, or I'm just going to switch the arrows and not really all the labeling, but you're going to see that the real interest rate would go down now, right? So I would move from R2 to R1, or R2 to R1, in both cases going down. Notice what would happen with this lower real interest rate. What people would do is they'd say, hey, I'm going to go uh, if I'm in business, I'm going to go buy a new machinery, a new piece of machinery. So one of the questions they like to ask is what happens in the long run. And if firms are buying machinery in the long run, that's good for uh, your ability to produce, right? you got more capital goods. Um, so you see economic growth uh, down the line uh, uh, grow. You can produce more stuff. Your production possibilities curve shifts outward. Your long run negative supply curve moves to the right. Um, all because of a lower real interest rate, um, because the government has a surplus. So that's one of the benefits to more uh, saving and a lower uh, real interest rate. All right. Uh, so that was just a real quick run through of your uh, loanable funds market and government deficits and surpluses. Make sure you study and look at your other shifters because these aren't the only ones. Um, but the effects with the interest rate uh, are still the same. Regardless of why the curve changed, the change in interest rate always changes behavior in the same way. Okay? All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Best of luck. I will see you guys tomorrow.